Hi, welcome to the session on CPA auditing and attestation. We are discussing about the financial statement assertions in which we will discuss now about uh, the inventory cycle. How we can, as an auditor, agree uh, the value of the inventory that is presented on the financial statements. Inventory cycle, the main objective of this inventory cycle is how the auditor obtains sufficient and appropriate evidence to draw the conclusions based on which we give an audit opinion. So we should get sufficient and appropriate audit evidence so that we are comfortable in giving the audit opinion. Sufficient and aud appropriate audit evidence, sufficiency and appropriate. Sufficiency measures about the quantity of the audit evidence, to what extent we get the evidence. And what is the quality of that evidence called appropriate evidence. So the judgment, the professional skepticism we use uh, to, to have the judgment regarding the sufficiency of the audit evidence depends on nature and level of the inherent risk, the accounting system, materiality, whether a particular item detected is material or immaterial to the financial statements, based on the skills, the experience the auditor gained from the previous audits, and the source and reliability of the information results of the audit procedures. These are going to influence the judgment of the auditor in getting a sufficient and appropriate audit evidence. So in inventory cycle, the controls related to inventory are in the hands of the departments like purchase department, receiving department, warehousing and shipping. All these departments internal controls we discussed already in expenditure cycle. So the controls which we use, the segregation of duties in placing in order placing the requisition, placing in order, then set of purchase orders, that is, you know, the set is distributed among the departments, a blank PO purchase order, that is circulated to the receiving department, one goes to the billing department, then receiving department will have a blind copy uh, for the quantity column, Receiving department will receive the inventory and enter the quantity received, the condition, the quality, etc. Then warehouse department will have the custody of the inventory. The shipping department is responsible for shipping of the inventory sold. So there is a proper segregation of duties among these departments as we discussed in expenditure cycle. Here, when the inventory at the end of the year is counted and valued on a financial statements, presented on the financial statements, the cost of the inventory sold is charged to the you know, income statement. So as an auditor, the questions raised to form an opinion on financial reporting both on balance sheet items, 
and income statement items like what have all the assets and liabilities been recorded inventory is an asset and if you have any inventory with any collateral okay um, the liabilities are recorded or not the recorded assets and liabilities really exist assets owned liabilities or belong to the enterprise or not and the amounts arrived at the values arrived at as per the policies or not the items related to the assets liabilities expenses and revenues are properly disclosed so as an auditor to form an opinion you need to question these balance sheet related items then income statement of profit and loss account items like all incomes expenses are recorded the recorded incomes and expenses really occur they occurred or not they measured according to with the according to with the according to the accounting policies are they disclosed as appropriate so these are the questions to be raised by the auditor before forming an opinion so you need to test to answer these questions you need to test like you need to perform certain tests to understand the effectiveness of the operations of the client business and internal control system you may have to use some substantive procedures to get reliable reliable you know evidence this is related to the transactions balances and other analytical procedures so in the balance sheet financial statement assessments especially for this income state or inventory cycle we need to look at the existence the liabilities assets exist at a given date or not the assertion belong to rights and obligations whether an asset or liability that belongs to the entity at any given date occurrence the transaction that took place actually incurred during the current period completeness all these transactions that should have been recorded have been recorded or not valuation whether the inventory is recorded in an appropriate carrying value measurement the transaction should be recorded with a proper amount whether it is an asset expense or revenue presentation and disclosure the items are to be classified and disclosed on the financial reports as per the applicable financial reporting framework validity and authorization the transactions are to be authorized by the management consent as per the company's policies and procedures with a great segregation of duties so the auditor is supposed to inspect it's not that an entire inventory is to be physically inspected but you need to have a sample of inventory and inspect you can even observe that how inventory is carried out you can inquire of management to get certain information confirmations sometimes you may get from third party like you have inventory with a consignment inventory on consignment so consignee has to confirm that what amount of inventory is in its custody so you may have to have external confirmation calculations computations to check the mathematical accuracy analytical processes you will be using like inventory turnover to see that any slow moving items are to be you know valued for obsolescence so you need to conduct some analytical processes like ratios trends etc so the audit evidence what we get 
from you know the physical examination to see especially the tangible assets to verify their existence in the company as a given date confirmations from the external parties mathematical evidence sometimes the recalculations of competitions used in the financial statements documents both internal and external and if you have any information missing the inquiries of the client whether it is oral or written then article reviews using the ratios comparisons etc so these are the you know types of audit evidence an auditor should use before we form an opinion on the financial statement assertions so just to check the characteristics of the evidence we need to see that uh, the evidence must be relevant it should be freedom or free from profit bias and uh, the objectivity of this evidence getting the evidence is to get a conclusion and the information what we get the evidence what we get should be sufficient in quality and quantity just to recap the topics what we learned in investment inventory cycle include the auditor is supposed to get sufficient and appropriate audit evidence to form an opinion to recheck that departments are properly segregated so the segregation of duties as per the company's policies and procedures to control certain risks the departments related to the inventory include purchasing receiving warehousing and shipping various financial statement assertions are to be observed and the procedures to be used to obtain the audit evidence different types of audit evidence a proper inventory verification will help us to give an assurance on the value of the inventory that is going to be presented on the balance sheet this will help us to form an opinion hope you understand we'll see you in the next session till then have a good time see you in the next session